Because of Coptic country's rugged and isolated landscape, there are very high levels of biological diversity of plants and animals who are uniquely adapted and found only in Coptic country. Coptic country is snail heaven with the highest density of endemic snails in the world. Snails need calcium carbonate to build their shells, so they love Coptic country because of the high levels of calcium easily available in the limestone. Snails carry their homes on their backs, so when it starts to get too dry outside, they can temporarily seal themselves up and wait until the next rains to bring moisture back to the ecosystem. Cockpit country snails are recyclers, eating algae, fungi, and dead vegetation, helping nature's house cleaning. Half of Cockpit country's karst limestone geology is underground, and this includes caves that make great homes for bats. Bats are the most numerous of Jamaica's mammals with 21 different species. Though Jamaicans call bats rat bats, bats are mammals who suckle their young and have hands that evolve into wings which allow them to fly. Bats are able to navigate at night using sonar by bouncing sounds off objects. The time it takes for the sound to return defines how close or far the object. So if we cut down the trees, they won't be able to find their way. Cockpit country bats are very important for pest control and reducing blood-borne illnesses as they eat millions of mosquitoes and other pests. They're also important to plant growth because they pollinate trees and disperse seeds as they fly about. Because of the lack of surface water in cockpit country, plants and animals have to make special adaptations. The Jamaican laughing frog lays her eggs in the wild pine bromeliad, which holds water. But the water is low in oxygen, so the tadpoles have to grow their lungs quickly in order to breathe. And since there is no food source in the bromeliad, their mother feeds them with additional eggs that she lays. Cockpit country is home to five of Jamaica's nine endemic snakes, including the endangered Jamaican boa, or yellow snake, which lives in limestone forests. Growing up to seven feet in length, the Jamaican boa is Jamaica's largest land predator and is very beneficial because it feeds mostly on rats. Males travel long distances looking for mates and therefore boas require large, intact, connected tracts of forests to thrive. Like all snakes, the boa uses its tongue to smell the air, to help find food, to find each other, and to find its way home. The boa is not poisonous is primarily nocturnal and quite shy of humans. The Jamaican boa is protected under the Wildlife Protection Act. So if you see one, just leave it alone. It won't trouble you at all. The Caribbean used to be home to large numbers of parrots, but sadly, most are now extinct. And cockpit country is the only viable habitat for the endangered and globally important Jamaican black-billed parrot. And the only region where both the black and yellow-billed parrot occur in significant numbers. The yellow-billed is the larger of the two parrots and more numerous. Both parrots require large areas of forest to nest and to feed. So deforestation is a threat to their very existence. Both the black and yellow-billed parrot are protected under the Wildlife Protection Act. So it is illegal to harm, kill, 
or capture them or destroy their nest trees. Cockpit country has more plants and animals threatened with extinction than any other place in Jamaica or in the Caribbean. So let's protect this unique and valuable part of Jamaica from mining, deforestation, and pollution so that future generations of Jamaica will know Jamaica's plants and animals.